Zimbabwe is once again teetering on the brink of collapse and close to running out of money. On the streets there have been protests, protests and violence against the demonstrators. The campaign is being coordinated largely through social media and the man behind it has told Music 10 people are so desperate they have lost their fear. The Zimbabwean authorities responding to a challenge the way they know best. Only the protests of this woman's daughter stopped the assault. Dozens have been detained, and the beating is by no means a one-off. But amid the biggest demonstrations here for almost a decade, desperate people have found a new inspiration. This flag. <laughs> it is my country, my Zimbabwe. We he was a barely known clergyman, but his call to action, draped in the nation's colours, has become a powerful rallying cry across social media. This is the time that a change must happen. All that's made Pastor Ivan Marawiri a wanted man. Only at a secret safe house could he meet us tonight. He insists Zimbabwe is on the brink of big change. This generation is not afraid. We're not afraid of prison. We're not afraid of beatings. We're not afraid of intimidation, of abduction. It, yes, it's frightful, but we've gotten to a place where we've said enough is enough. You spent the weekend lying low. Are you scared for your own well-being? I've had to make a decision that if I'm going to be a Zimbabwean, then I must stand up. I'll tell you what I'm more afraid of. I'm more afraid of my five-year-old and three-year-old asking me 20 years from now, what I did when the country was, was going down. And Zimbabwe is near bankrupt. Queues outside banks, a vivid illustration, they no longer have the money to guarantee even salaries. We have no access to cash. Now when I say access to cash, I'm talking about no money, like actual $1, $10 bills. Um, and and that the, that's the sad thing, is that it's our money that's in the bank, but you can't get it. But the pastor is pitted against Africa's great survivor. Frail and his party divided, still Robert Mugabe shows no sign of retreat. So while more protests are planned, that claim that the nation has lost its fear is about to be tested. John Ray, News at 10, Ferrari. Now after he won his second Wimbledon title.